I am officially a week out from my 48 and 10 challenge. And this finally just arrived. I have tried so many multiple <laughs> options as far as two piece sets. I really wanted to go with an arrow stitch suit, but they were out of the black fabric. So I found this Klein suit, which is actually a men's. I ordered a tall, large, and it was just outrageous. <laughs> And I finally ordered a medium in my size. I didn't need a tall at all because it's way long in the arms and um, long in the legs. So for me, it's absolutely perfect. For others who are short and petite, may not work for you. But for me, this men's version is gonna be fantastic. But I have to break it in within a seven day mark or pretty much on my 48 and 10. There's a lot of other things that I need to do before I hit Monday. <laughs> oh man. Okay, can't let it stress me out. I just need to start with one thing, check it off the list, and move on to the next. Okay, so just got home. Second ride with a suit, and as bulky as it is and like not worn in, it's still not. Not bad, it's just gonna take some getting used to. Ooh, look at my helmet here. <sighs> the only problem with the suit and the bike is that the inseam doesn't give you much flexibility when you're trying to get on the very tall bike. Like when I get on my husband's bike, it's fine. But yeah, that's the only problem with it. It's heavy, the suit when you just hold it in your hands, you don't have it on, but when you have it on, it doesn't feel that heavy. But I might say differently when I get into rush hour traffic and I'm sitting in a black suit somewhere, <laughs> but I think this thing is gonna keep me pretty much waterproof. Hopefully that's not foreshadowing for my 48 and 10. We'll figure it out, but impressed. I like it, it works. I don't feel uncomfortable in it, and that's all I can say for right now. All of it broken in by the time I finish my 48 and 10. So first up is my receipt book. So I just have a business card holder, and they are coordinated by days. So one color means one day and the next day, and then I have like the certain gas stops. Then I have stickers that mark the actual states where I need physical receipts and need to make sure that they are completely verified. But they have the exact gas stop, the gas station hours, when I need to be there, and then the number um, of the state that I will be at. So this helps me keep in check for every single day until I'm finished and even afterwards. So. So every time I do this, I like to list out the gas station stops when I'm going to arrive there and when I need to leave by. It's just a nice little reminder having sitting on my tank bag. So I'm using my Excel document, writing things out, then listing them out day by day. And it just helps me keep me in check as far as timing goes. Yeah, love it. So next up is making sure all of my tech communicates the correct way for the Google Maps that I had created. So currently right now, I have the Ride Planner website open and it has the exact route for each of the days. I exported those GPX files, they are saved onto my phone, but I'm able to pull up the HD app and see my planned routes, pick the certain day that I need to be at, and it will automatically link to the dash of the Pan America and will share my route and my driving directions through that. So that is helpful. The next thing I need to work on is making sure my Garmin Zumo XT actually um, has that same route as well. I like to have two just in case, you know, one tells me a different route than the other one if there's traffic or whatnot. Normally they're pretty similar, but if I'm looking at the dash or I'm looking at the GPS, it's nice to make sure I'm not missing a stop if I go through it because one state missed and I'm done with the challenge. <laughs> okay, so I laid out every single day <laughs> for the trip. So I have my Gore-Tex Climb one-piece suit that I will most likely be wearing most of the time, but I'm gonna switch it up 
like ride two days with it and then ride two ride a day with this ride two days with it and then ride a day with this just to mix things up a little bit and not feel so stuck in that suit which isn't bad but I've got each day laid out so a pair of socks underwear sports bra tank pants they go underneath in there then I have extra layers too so if I need to add a long sleeve cooling one or a warm one and a warm leggings I have that option but one two three four five six and then I have two pairs of these moto girl Kevlar leggings I love them because they have armors in the side armors in the knees but I have one pair two pairs so a top socks underwear bra with these leggings as one so here's one so that's six seven eight nine ten <laughs> Should be well covered, especially with two pairs of these leggings. I don't know if I'm going to bring both, but it's nice to have two options if I don't feel like wearing the one piece. Then I have just an extra shirt for night, a uh, long sleeve sweatshirt. Then my pajamas, so I've got a uh, top, bottom. Um, what else do I got? Oh, and then after I get done, I want to feel like a normal person again. So I have a tank top and shorts to wear for my celebration evening after I'm finished. It'll be nice to have something not motorcycle related to jump into. So that is what I'm doing for my clothing layout. Not bad. I plan on packaging them all into Ziploc bags themselves so I can just pull out day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day ten. You got the, you got the whole spiel. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just hiding, mommy. You're just hiding. Yeah. Mama's gotta go bye bye for a while, okay? Why? Mama's gotta go on the motorcycle. Okay. You'll be with daddy for a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Be go with daddy. Huh? Hmm? Be go with daddy. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Bye. Love you. Any kisses? Thank you. Mm. Good luck. What? Have fun. Have fun, Mama. Thanks, baby. Take a shower every night. And wash your butt. Wash your butt. <laughs> so grab some dinner. It's like literally right across the street. <laughs> Hopefully the bike doesn't get too wet tonight, but I'm gonna eat my dinner, take a shower, go to bed, cause I gotta be up at 3 a.m. So yeah, let's go. For real. Meatloaf, mac and cheese, corn, biscuit, cornbread, fried apples. Can't go wrong, right? <laughs> Time for bed. I'm exhausted and it's only nine o'clock. <laughs> I have a very long, long day ahead of me. I think all that meatloaf has finally gotten to me. <laughs> okay, time to say goodnight. I'll see you all in the morning.